I'm calling a throwaway of all the natives of New South Wales to send a petition to the king in an endeavour to improve our condition. Why have they taken the white Australians just on 200 years to recognise us as a race of people? The time has come when Australia can no longer tolerate legal racial discrimination against its indigenous people. It's a matter of democratic right. In celebrating the success of the 1967 referendum, when brave men and women who believe they should work to help the first Australians take their rightful place in the community, much was done to break their spirits. But single-mindedly and with the drain of commitment weighing heavily upon them, set their eyes on the goal ahead. Those men and women, true Democrats and free thinkers, convinced a nation of voters who by tradition voted no in referendums, not only to vote yes, but to make sure the referendum was carried. Trouble in That's this town. Run a map and there'll be Put them out of town. It was very frightening. I mean, I got belted with eggs and sand and punched and pushed and shoved. But what happened was we really just took the young Aboriginal girls and boys into the swimming pool where they were not allowed to go in after a certain time. We further declare that reconciliation and the renewal of the nation can be achieved only through a people's movement. We act today because tomorrow it may be too late. It is up to each one of us to commit to finding the lighted path of lasting reconciliation. In 2000, a quarter of a million people walked across the Harbour Bridge in the spirit of reconciliation. And I beg you to listen, listen to those whispers in your heart and let them bellow out for a better future, a future that's steeped in the spirit of reconciliation.